What's going on YouTube and all you 2K lovers? My name is Tommy West and this is the channel where we play 2K all day. Welcome back for this second installment of Who Better? The show where we take two similar players and put them in a game of domination and see who can score the most points. Since we finally got a respectable Zion Williamson card, this time we're going to match him up against Ja Morant. It's moments of the week for Ja Morant versus the flash pack Zion Williamson and they both have a 92 offensive overall uh, Zion has better shooting attributes except for the mid-range the three-point and the free throw where Ja has him beat Ja obviously has better passing and uh, Zion looks to be a bit, bit better on defense Zion's got six Hall of Fame badges and 16 gold whereas Ja has 25 gold 3 silver and 3 bronze they each have gold quick draw and they both have a couple of gold finishing badges uh, Zion has gold downhill whereas Ja Moran only has silver and we will install them each into our trusty old sapphire lineup we're gonna put Ben Wallace in for Carl Anthony Towns who was there last last time and we'll put Zion in for Blake Griffin and we're just gonna swap some things around Zion will be in the starting lineup but he will start at the small forward rather than the power forward and this time we will match our guys up against the Phoenix Suns and you see here Ben Wallace wins the tip for us Scott Skiles gives it to Zion and we're gonna see what Zion's jumper looks like and it is not we can't hit the first one but it's not a bad jumper and he misses the layup going to the basket so far 0 for 2 for Zion Williamson Zion going in oh my god goes in strong in that time he definitely gets the two points with a killer slam over a couple of defenders and he finishes again in traffic Luka Doncic to Jonathan Isaac to Zion for three Zion knocks down the three-point shot on defense Zion with the block going the other way Scott Skiles to Zion again for three and man Zion's jumper is looking pretty good and as I say that he misses <laughs> another long shot Zion coming down in transition high up off the glass gets the bucket and the foul he's got 12 points early on in the first Zion again with the athletic layup off the glass Kobe White to Zion all alone and he throws it down one-handed that's what we want to see from Zion a lot of high flying highlight dunks like that one the alley-oop Zion with the reverse slam and the mid-range game he's got that as well 20 points in the middle of the second not quite scoring at the same pace we saw from Carl Anthony Towns or Wilt Chamberlain but he's doing okay and he catches a lob from Fred Van Fleet throws down the reverse slam again Van Fleet to Zion again Lob City Van Fleet to Zion over Saric can't get it but he tips the pass Mirasan recovers Zion gets it back and that time he gets it to go Mirasan to Zion with the slam over Frank Kaminsky and he's got 30 points now Van Fleet to Zion over Aaron Baines and this flash pack Zion is a definite huge upgrade over the 20 current card his only other card that he has out but uh, I don't know he just doesn't seem to have quite the mobility that I want him to have he, he's pretty fast but uh, oh look at that 
as, I, as I'm talking about criticizing him. He gets the uh, baseline jam. Uh, but he does seem to have a little mobility issue. Uh, he's a much better shooter than I thought he would be, though. So take that into account. And he's got 38 points now in the fourth, so he's not going to come anywhere near Carl uh, Anthony Towns or Will Chamberlain's output. But this is legitimately like the uh, second or third time I've used this card. So maybe when, you know, get used to him. Especially with a jump shot like that. Zion hits another three. Get used to him. Maybe you could get to the 100 point mark with Zion and another monster jam. But uh, right now, it's looking like he might get 55. And he is the player of the game. And we see the jump shot there. And the baseline jam. And a nice little layup. Dribble moves. Pull back for the three. And finishing over Frank. However, uh, his opponent, the number two pick in the draft, Ja Morant is a card that I have used a lot and I'm very comfortable with and I feel confident in saying he is going to score a ton of points in this next game but look at Zion with some legitimate range on that three-pointer yeah he's not quite the uh, the high-flying slasher that I thought he would be but he is definitely a shooter and another three 17 seconds left Let's see can we get one more and a dunk to finish it off with Zion Williamson finishes with 60 points not the record we were looking for not more than Carl Anthony Towns not more than Wilt Chamberlain probably not gonna be more than Ja Morant However, we did get some highlight real jams. We did get some amazing three-pointers. Only 18 minutes, he scored 60 points, got four boards and a block, 27 of 38 from the field, and a perfect six for six from the three-point line. He was 0 for 2 for free throws, but he had eight dunks. And now it's going to be John ja Morant's turn to see what he can do in domination. Uh, we took out, uh, we put John ja Morant in Scott Skiles' spot, and for some reason I'm not really sure of, I decided to put Jimmy Butler in the lineup for a little more defense. Jonathan Isaac, after winning the tip, gives it up to Ja. Rubio's on him, Ja shoots over, and cannot hit it, misses his first shot. Ja Morant again, a little bit inside the three-point line, and he gets that one to go. Ja, again over Rubio, again cannot hit it. Is it Ricky Rubio's defense, or is it Ja's shot? Ja putting the moves on, gets a little separation, and that time he hits the three. Ja Morant so far this year in the actual NBA is looking like Rookie of the Year. He's had some amazing games for Memphis. We haven't really had a chance to see Zion yet due to injury. And uh, not really sure when Zion will be making his debut for New Orleans. But as things stand right now, John Morant will be Rookie of the Year. And our John Morant gets a steal and yokes it back for the monster one-handed slam. And he's got 12 points three minutes into the first quarter. And he gets another steal. He winds up on his back, taking the shot. Can't hit that one. But good defense from Ja. And pull up mid range shot is good. Jonathan Isaacs kicks it to Ja. Ja steps back just inside the three point line. Hits the long two. All alone gets a slam against these poor hapless Phoenix Suns 
We don't know what hit him. Child with a long distance three. That's nothing but net. Mirasan with the block. I head to Morant and a one handed slam. Cha again under the basket. Catching those long outlet passes. Cha misses the three. Mirasan gets the offensive board. Cha steps inside to the top of the key and not trains that shot. 27 points on 12 of, of 18 shooting and a wide open three and that's all green. Job blows past Rubio and slams it in with two hands. 34 points, 14 in the paint. Job with the one handed scoop shot makes it 36 and another layup plus a foul Jai at the charity stripe and he gets that one to fall Jai with 39 points in the first half so he is on a pace to score over 75 this game and he hits another jumper and a long three that one's green 44 points one rebound, zero assists, but another steal. He takes it away from Booker and he slams it in. Ja, the speed demon, pulling back from three, and that's green. Lonnie Walker gives it to Doncic, out to Ja, again from beyond the arc, again with the green shot, again perfect one-handed layup. Child pulls back, knocks down another mid-range shot. And that's why point guards are going to excel in this challenge every time. If you've got the ball in your hands, you're going to get quick scores. And another three. Ja Morant just killing it. Look at all those green splashes. That one was white and that one didn't go in. But he quickly gets back on track with the green three-pointer. And this card, this was moments of the week four. So it's been out for a little while. But this card was super cheap when it came out. Around under 2K for a long time. It's got hot since. And now it's going to cost you anywhere from 10 to 15k it seems. But this card has been great from day one. Cha Morant, player of the game. Is there any doubt about it? And what the hell is this 2k? This has not been edited. This is not a joke. This is literally the player of the game package that 2k chose to put together to show us the performance that John ja Morant had this game. Take it all in. This is what it is. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful work, 2K. <clears throat> John ja Morant misses the three. He's got 74 points, folks. Mid-range is good to make it 76. 78% field goal shooting. He scored 76 points in 16 minutes. Misses that jumper. LaFrance gets the steal. Back to Ja on the wing and he knocks that one down. 78 points. Oh, cuts down the middle with the one-handed slam and he's got 80. Devin Booker misses the layup. LaFrance gives it to Morant. Morant going all the way. Gets the shot and the foul. He'll go to the line for one more. And it rolls around and pops out. But he steals the, the outlet pass. <laughs> On his back again, he gives it up to LaFrance. LaFrance to Martin. Back to LaFrance. Back to Morant. And he knocks down that shot. 
84 points, and that's going to do it for this one. John Morant absolutely decimated the competition. 84 points in 17 minutes, 5 steals. He went 36 for 46 from the field and 11 for 17 from beyond the arc. 1 of 2 from the free throw line, and he had 6 dunks. So, in this case, of the moments of the week for Ja Morant, 88 overall versus the flash pack Zion Williamson, 89 overall, I do declare that Ja Morant is better. Ja Morant finished with 84 points. That is the all-time record on who better. Number two is Carl Anthony Towns with 70 points. Will Chamberlain came in third with 66 points. And Zion, fourth place and last so far with only 60 points. So that'll wrap it up for this video. Like this video if you liked it. Comment on this video if you didn't like it. Subscribe to this channel either way. I love you all. Goodbye.